Black Crows burst onto the scene in 1990 with their debut record, Shake Your Money Maker. It would sell 5 million copies and had two singles that went to number one, in addition to three other singles that charted as well. The band would return with their sophomore effort, The Southern Harmony and Musical Companion, which would have four number one singles, which was a record at the time. The band returned in 1994 with their third record titled Amorica, but it failed to deliver commercially, and perhaps the album cover was a part of that reason. While the group's first two albums showed off their 60s and 70s influences, Amorica was an album showing the band had finally found and expanded their sound, going in a darker direction. Frontman Chris Robinson would say in a promo video for the album, We really want to see how far we can push our expression. I think the Black Crows have always been such a question mark for a lot of people. Are they ripping someone off? To what do they owe to their past? What does that mean to their generation? What's the future? This record is definitely more of an answer as opposed to another question. Rolling Stone would write in their review of the album, their swagger intact and their musical inventiveness progressing, the Black Crows revolving like the great bands they respect. Amorca's cover was borrowed from a 1976 issue of Hustler magazine that celebrated the bicentennial. The album cover showed a close-up of a woman wearing a thong with a tuft of pubic hair sticking out of it. The image was too much for some big box stores like Walmart and Kmart who said no to carrying the album. Released on November 1st, 1994, the album was already making the news a month before its release over its controversial artwork. The LA Times ran a story in October of 94 that wrote, and I quote, Crow singer Chris Robinson thought it was a perfect illustration of the title concept which plays on the words America, Amore, and Immoral. Crow's manager Pete Angelus would tell the paper, It's okay to see guns and violence, but God forbid if we see pubic hair. It was shortly after the album's release, Robinson was doing a chat with fans on AOL, when one user asked him, what's with the hair on the CD cover? To which he responded, it's growing. The band's label, American Recordings, would issue an alternative cover, showing the American flag on a thong with a blacked out background. Chris Robinson would reflect back on the album cover controversy in 2011 on the band's YouTube channel saying he didn't understand what was the big deal behind it. He thought the most controversial part was using the American flag and not the hair. He would reveal in France they had no issue with the cover and even advertised giant billboards of it, while in England they refused to advertise it. Rolling Stone would put out a list of the 20 dirtiest album covers of all time, and of course Amorica made the list and longtime drummer Steve Gorman, who also had a second career in radio, talked about the album cover, as you can see here. Uh, 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 we made a great album, just a beautiful, re far-reaching, very ambitious album, and that's what we slept on the cover. Whose idea was it? Just get get right to brass tacks. That was our singer's idea. And Chris. you're saying nobody nobody stood up and said, uh-uh. We I I didn't I didn't like it at all. We we tried to have that conversation. One guy wanted it, no one else did, and he got his way. That'll tell you how how ill that group of people was at that time. Not, not, I hate that album cover. Always have. I just thought you make this. We made this album that is all we ever wanted to put on an album. And I and the first thing I said was. No one will get the point. But all I know is if I walk into a record store and I see that cover, the first thing I think is, what is this, for 12-year-old boys? Who thinks that's funny or who thinks that's hot? That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like button and subscribe. Once again, rock and roll your stories. Take care.